Let's say you walk into your studio one day, inspiration strikes, and you want to get to work right now. So you open up Logic Pro. If you know any of my previous courses, you know I like to use a couple of plugins on my master. So you go to the main output and you add your preferred plugins. Like in my case, uh, you know, maybe I want to add a low cut, not this one, but the one in the channel EQ, of course. Are you kidding? Then you insert a compressor and you may want to change the circuit type. Maybe use the studio VCA for your master. So that's done. And you know, to top things off, to keep everything in check and to stay on the safe side, I want to maybe add a limiter. So that's done. I'll go back to my arrange and I think I want to start off with a new instrument track. So I add that software instrument, got that fixed and I'll choose an instrument from my list. How about the retro synth? I think I want to start off with that particular one. Now, can I start yet? Nope. I forgot to add a couple cents to my studio. You want to have at least one cent maybe for uh, a reverb. You know, I'll add a reverb to this bus. Space Designer is awesome, of course. Close that up. And you know what? I think I'll create another bus to a delay, maybe a stereo delay. Can always come in handy. So finally, I can get to work now. But what do you know? All inspiration gone. So what are you going to do? Well, I think we've just built a template. And a template, a lot of people know about this, but for those who don't yet, is really the way to go with Logic Pro, uh, for any DIW for that matter. See, a template allows you to start up Logic and get to work right away. No delays in setting up buses, instruments, master plugins, even down to the tempo of your project, or if you want to use the metronome or not, can be part of a template. If you always want to have the inspector out of the way, for instance, you can save that as part of your studio environment. So let's say this is now my preferred studio. I go to the file menu and there I choose save as template. This gives me a dialog where I can name my template. This is very important as auto load. Because the auto load is the template that Logic will start up with the next time you boot it. Okay, so you set up everything the way you like it and you save it as an auto load. I'm not going to do it right now because I have my own one. And mine is set up with a bunch of instrument tracks, a bunch of audio tracks. You know, sense like I just created to reverbs, to delays. So it's really all there. It's ready to go as soon as you fire up Logic. No messing around. Just get down to business, choose your instrument and focus on making the music, right? And unfortunately, I see a lot of people ignore this feature of setting up their own template. You can even set up multiple templates, but the auto load is probably the most important one of the bunch. So absolutely recommend it. Go create your own templates and make some music.